The most important consideration for jack-up operators is getting the rig on site, positioned quickly and safely, and earning money. However, one of the key issues in using jack-ups is the accurate and secure placement of the legs and the spud cans on the seabed floor. This is particularly critical when there are strong currents or the area is uneven, sloping, or consists of rocky ground or soft sand. Lowering the legs in such adverse conditions without effective monitoring and control can run high risks with serious safety implications and cause serious damage, not only to the legs themselves, but also to jackhouse equipment, rack cords, and surrounding braces and girder work. Raising and lowering a jack-up rig involves engaging drive motors in the racks on all three corners of each of the three triangular legs. Traditionally, monitoring RPD progress is by checking with a handheld measuring gauge, a rudimentary practice using after-the-event non-real-time readings easily open to human error. Monitor System's automatic RPD M1000 monitoring system uses permanently located daisy wheels engaged precisely into the rack teeth on the corner of each leg, enabling direct and accurate feedback from the source of any problems. The system is self-checking and eliminates human error, having an accuracy of 0.3 millimeters resolution derived from 32-bit absolute encoders, which because they are not fitted to the jacking drive pinions, but to independent daisy wheels, are unaffected by vibration, shock, or lateral leg movement up to plus or minus 100 millimeters. Lateral leg movement can cause errors up to 40 millimeters either way confounding the data from handheld gauges or encoders fitted to drive pinions and thereby relaying false information to operators. The M1000's daisy wheel units cause minimal obstruction and are made from extreme weather-coated robust steel and high-grade stainless steel with all shafts O-ring sealed to provide long life reliability. Using a highly reliable Profibus DP network, critical monitoring data is gathered from all leg corners and fed to a central control console, as well as to local monitors stationed at each cord. Data reporting includes leg length, RPD error indication and alarm, trending and historical logging, as well as the ability to enter comments and notations. The RPD M1000 also provides the operator with a corrective action to be taken to solve problems identified by the system. As a leg can be seriously damaged in 10 seconds if one of the cords should jam in the hull, RPD M1000's fail-safe monitor will automatically shut down the jack-up process if the operator does not respond fast enough to a warning signal. This extremely fit-for-purpose equipment eliminates manual measurement devices considerably speeds up the jacking process and includes built-in error and redundancy measurement ensuring no leg damage ensues. Finally, working with Siemens, recent technical advances on the RPD M1000 include the development of a radio telemetry network with SIL2 approval aimed at reducing cabling installation costs and providing handheld mobile data display for additional operators. In summary, the operator benefits of the RPD M1000 include positions legs quickly, efficiently, and safely in all types of terrain. Built-in redundancy provides high availability, eradicates manual measurement, human error, and guesswork, eliminates damage to legs, rack cords, surrounding braces, girder work, and jacking equipment. Precise, direct, real-time jack-up feedback from the cords on each leg. Accuracy unaffected by vibration, shock, and lateral leg movement. Robust units give long life reliability with minimal obstruction to operating area. Provides integrated centralized control and localized monitoring. Wide range of data reporting, alarms, and information logging determines corrective operator action to resolve RPD errors. Auto shutdown if operator is slow to respond. New technical advances, reducing cabling installation costs using radio telemetry and fully mobile data terminals. Monitor Systems Scotland Limited, 